This tutorial will focus on CyberCity Solution Reference. This solution includes a basic car and the mission tool building reference. This solution is for reference only. Feel free to innovate and come up with some better ones. The first part is base car body construction. Here is the top view and bottom view of the car. Firstly, we need to install the wheels and motor on the chassis. Here is the building progress. is the grayscale sensor and universal wheel installation. Here is the building progress. Then we should install the controller on the top of the vehicle. Until this step the basic car construction is complete. Next, we connect the controller to the motor. Note, the direction of the universal wheel is the front, and the driving wheel is the back. The left motor is connected to controller port, and the right motor is connected to controller B port. The grayscale sensor is connected to ports 1 to 5 from left to right. Here is the connection progress. In the second step, we need to install the task motor. This motor is mainly used to drive the robot arm. The main structure used is the 40 axle, 70 beam, bolt and gear. During the construction process, we need to pay attention to the orientation of the long and short ends of the block, as well as the direction of the beam's cross holes and round holes. Here is the building progress.
make the motor structure more stable and aesthetically pleasing, we can build a bumper out of bolts and 50 beams to fit the car. This structure can then be used directly for the spaceship task. This motor connects to the controller's port. See, here's the sample solution. You can also take your own design. Next part is mission tool solution reference. The first task is space portal task construction. The key point for this task to complete is to pull the 30 beams out of the task model is the orange panel parallel to the ground. We can accomplish this task by assembling a toggle structure with parts such as 93 5 beam and 50 axle. Insert the short end of the 93 5 beam into the square hole of the chassis. Here is the building progress. The second task was time travel. This task was accomplished by toggling the lever on the model so that the red pointer would fall freely. We used three double bolt and beams to build a remote lever structure to accomplish this task. Note the orientation of the long and short ends of the bolt. Note, at the start of this competition, this part should lift up. Here is the building progress. As I mentioned, you do not have to build some other parts for the spaceship task. Just use the universal wheel to slightly hit the spaceship model. Of course, if you have some other good ideas, you can also use yours. The next task was plant growing. This task was scored by placing the eco plants on a whiteboard. So, we used different axle, gears and beams to build a clip structure that could be stretched out. During the build, we have to be careful that the bolt plugs into the round hole of the beam. At the start of this competition, the 270 beams should stay parallel to the long sides of the square beam. There are round holes on the left side and right side 50 beams. The 112.5 coupler connects to the three double bolts on the right side of the motor. You can adjust its initial status manually at the start of this competition. If you do not need it, just remove it before the competition. Here is the building progress.
The next task is Space Elevator. The completion criteria of this task is to make the bottom elevator adheres to the top magnet. So, we mainly use 12,646 beam and other beams to build a lifting robot arm to accomplish this task. Note, connected to the three double bolts on the left side of the motor. Pushed fully backward at the start of this competition. Here is the building progress. The next task was the genetic lab. This task was similar to the previous one in that it involved lifting half of the model for the next task into contact with the top. However, because of the different structure and height of the model, we had to adjust the robot arm. The 20 coupler connects to the three double bolts on the right side of the motor. Pushed fully backward at the start of this competition. Here is the building progress. This task scored points for rotating the turnstile to lower the orange tablet. So we built a rocker structure using a 90 coupler and other structures. The three double bolt connects to the 20 coupler. You will need to adjust its initial state at the beginning of this competition. Here is the building progress. The last task was the brain machine link. The score for this task was to put the helmet on the villain. So we built a curved hook structure with a 93 asterisk 5 beam and bolt to accomplish this task. Pushed fully backward at the start of this competition. The 20 coupler connects to the three double bolts on the right side of the motor. Here is the building progress. Thank you for watching.